The U.S. calls itself city upon a hill and a beacon of democracy. However, is it really the case? At a forum on democracy held in Beijing, some international experts have shared with us their thoughts on the true face of U.S.-style democracy. For the last 70 odd years, even before that, since the end of First World War, United States has been claiming、uh, leadership of the、uh, world on the basis of its、uh, so-called democratic governance. They are huge、uh, values. And wealth gaps in that country, as many American commentators themselves and analysts themselves have pointed out, and unless the United States resolves these political values and wealth gaps amicably in its own country, it would not be possible for it to play the role of an ideal role model on the global stage. In the United States, the democracy. Has not solved the problem of the contradiction of society because it is not a democracy rooted in the reality of the disparity of the inequality. In the United States, the origin of democracy was the sanctioning, the approval of inequality as the inherent driver of society. It was. A democracy sanctified on the altar of inequality of peoples, a democracy that evolved on the strength that some people are superior and others are inferior. The big、uh, financial interests are taking、uh, the major part of the action of the governments. And they do not protect the common people. This creates a, a great contradictions between the citizens of North America, and so the democracy cannot share this kind of double values. When they say that the international relations have some values. They are only applied to the others, but not to, to themselves, because the government of the United States can uh, close uh, and uh, make uh, pressure of the others' uh, governments and uh, sanctions against the international laws. In 2021, there was a summit of democracy, and this was a summit that was meant to divide. Those countries that are considered democratic in the United States' perspective, and pitting them against those that they consider to be undemocratic. They're trying to take control of the discourse. They're trying to maintain the position of power they had, but it is unfortunate that they misused it. They could have worked with countries on an equal footing. They could have appreciated and accepted the diversity that is innate to mankind historically. And they haven't. So it's unfortunate that a concept that should be there for uniting people is being used to divide. And I hope that they can learn to think differently and more inclusively.